Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. Now, when it comes to UFOs, they say the truth is really out there, and we may learn all about it soon, Richard. Yeah, I'll tell you, this is really interesting. And, you know, I guess the tendency, Eric, is sometimes to joke around when, you, when you're talking about UFOs. But, you know, this is actually a, a serious story and one that I, you know, I can't understand why it's not bigger news. So last year, the U.S. Pentagon declassified this video and two others. It was Navy fighter pilots chasing it. Uh, objects that they couldn't explain, objects that had no obvious form of propulsion, objects that broke the laws of physics. And now the U.S. Pentagon is set to come out with a detailed report on what it knows about these UFOs. Over the weekend, the former U.S. Director of National Intelligence was on Fox News, and he said this upcoming report is going to contain some very interesting information. Frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. Some of those have been declassified. When we talk about sightings, we're talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that, um, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain. Now, the report's due to come out by June 1st. I don't know, Erica, what do you think? This could be big news, right? <laughs> it could be big news. I think a lot of that's sort of, uh, sorry about the pun, but flown under the radar, uh, this, all this news about UFOs, because there's been so much happening over the past year. be interesting uh, to see what comes out of that. Absolutely. Right. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, he's only been in office for a short time, but U.S. President Joe Biden has had his first meme-worthy moment. <laughs> I don't know. Do we feel sorry for him a little bit? Because he's he really got raked over the coals for this, Erica. It was on Friday, right, that he uh, fell up the stairs of... It was three times he went over. That's me coming home from the pub when we could go out to the pub, Erica. Anyways, they didn't miss a beat online. Uh, they memed this over and over again. Here's some of the more interesting ones. They said, well, we got to put a stair lift on Air Force One. Oh, that's a bit mean, don't you think? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, they said, hey, maybe it was Trump's wayward golf shot that might have gone <laughs> by. <laughs> That's a funny one. And finally, finally, maybe it was, you know, an NFL player <laughs> that might have knocked the president over. <laughs> oh, everyone's a comedian online, right, Erica? <laughs> we better not screw up and do anything. I'd hate to see what they do to us if we don't. I would be really nervous walking upstairs that steep and having all these cameras on me. I probably would fall, too. It's uh, I know, me too. Situations. Too much pressure, too much pressure. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, most world leaders are pretty busy these days, but one of them always seems to have time for a quick photo shoot. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, released these photos about what he did over the weekend. Uh, boy, he was out in the wilderness in Siberia. And, you know, he had his uh, sheepskin jacket on there, Eric. And he released, or the, the Kremlin released these photos just days after U.S. President Biden referred to Putin as a, quote, killer. Uh, Putin has repeatedly been seen, you know, holidaying, taking elaborate trips like spear fishing. All this is the Kremlin looks to, you know, craft a, a, a tough image of the president. And I'm thinking, you know, you have a great image already on City News, but I could use my image being recrafted a bit. So I wanted to show you what I was up to <laughs> over the weekend, Erica. Just hanging Ooh, out here. That Toronto, was you. you know? Okay. Oh, and I see yeah, you did the shirtless one, too. <laughs> Great. Well, that's how I always ride my horse. That's how I always do it. <laughs> Classic. You know? Classic Southern. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.